Today on Call for Two, rear window. The box says three players and up, but how will it play as a two player game? Let's find out. So Greg, it's great to have you here. Happy to be back. It's it been really, a year. It's been a while. People mm -hmm. don't know the, the purgatory discussions <laughs> that have been going on. We've dug ourselves out of a very big <laughs> hole. Uh, but it is great to have you back. Thanks for having me on your channel. And Catch you might want to watch Greg's movie channel, which we mm. just filmed two episodes of. Yeah. So we went from zero to 100 miles an yeah. hour. <laughs> Let's see. What were the mistakes that led to us not hanging out for a year? Let's just do that again. We may have to do a video on that. Um, <laughs> Does that work? Okay. I don't know. We did a video yeah, on... No one cares. No one cares. Okay. Actually, that's not true. I think people like will be like, I'm never going to watch any of your channel except for any something that's some type of drama. Mm -hmm. Well, we, right? we've people got... Love, people do love we drama. We have learned really how to destroy friendships. Yes, we, yeah. <laughs> we're just figuring out how to fix them up. Yeah. So today we're playing Rear Window based mm -hmm. on a movie that we mm -hmm. both love. Well, it's actually, to me, like, I love Hitchcock. And, and Rear Window is understood to be, like, one of his best movies. A lot of people think it's his best movie. I always thought it was fine. You know, I didn't, like, love it. I didn't hate it. I, to me, like... It's not in the top 10 at all for Hitchcock. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I still think it's a really cool, you know, like, especially like this stuff. Like, Well, the, bo the yeah, game is beautifully is, produced. I mean, we'll talk about it in a second. But I do want to point out one thing. You are very big into the idea of oh God, having so a night that's like movies, games, food. And this is like yeah. the... Perfect. Yeah, I, I thought to myself, I almost you forgot. Said, you I, forgot. No, 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 no. I, no, I was literally thinking it and I was going to say it and I was like, He's going to tell me to save that for the review. But then you stole it. <laughs> save it for the review. Well, no, just, like, I gave the credit to you. That's true. You did. You did. You did. Yeah. So we're going to try this at two player, as you said in the intro, which I was just telling Jesse, I think it's useful. I mean, people like, you know, a lot of couples, friends that are only two, they want to know if some of these games can be played at three player. And this is a great opportunity to see. Yeah. The only thing you're missing at, at two is no discussion of the other people. Yes, correct. So I we're going to play it. One. I totally snuck that one. Uh, yeah. This is cooperative mm -hmm. game 95% of the time. But then there's a possibility that there can be a semi-co-op element. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about that maybe when we set up, but maybe they'll, we'll go down to the table mm -hmm. and see how to play. Rear Window is a cooperative deduction game where, over the course of four rounds, one player attempts to communicate hidden information to the others using ambiguous picture cards. It was published in 2022 by Funko Games and designed by Prospero Hall, based on the 1954 movie of the same name by Alfred Hitchcock, and listed for ages 13 and up, three to five players on the box, but we think it works well at a two-player count. It's got a short running time of 40 minutes. Play begins with one player taking on the role of the director. The director chooses four attribute tokens randomly from a set of 12 potential tokens. Advanced tokens may be chosen to increase the difficulty of the game. The director then randomly places these attributes behind their shield hidden from other players, one token in each of the four apartment spaces. They then choose four resident tokens, one for each apartment, pairing them with the attribute tokens. In this way, each of the apartments has a unique resident attribute pair. This is the information that the other players must discover by the end of round four in order for the team to win. At the start of each of the four rounds, the current day's board is flipped over and the director draws eight cards depicting various people, places, and things. The director then places these eight cards on the eight spots on the current day's board, two in each apartment, with up to two cards being placed face down in order to not confuse the guessing players about irrelevant cards. The guessing players then cooperatively discuss the clue cards placed by the director and assign guesses to each apartment consisting of a resident and attribute token pair. At the end of the round, the director gives the players their score for that round, one point for each correctly placed token. 
Players also have four once-per-game special abilities they can use at any time to get hints. And the director has three opportunities over the course of the game to trade in their cards for replacement cards. After the end of the fourth round, if the players have correctly identified all eight tokens, four residents and four attributes, then everyone shares a cooperative win. The game can also be played semi-cooperatively by shuffling a murder token in with the potential attribute tokens. If the murderer token is one of the four attributes drawn and placed in an apartment, special semi-cooperative rules are triggered where the director is trying to get the players to guess everything except which apartment has the murderer attribute, and players are trying to figure out which apartment has a murderer token instead of a normal attribute. If the murderer token was drawn, players win only if they get correctly at least six of the eight resident and attribute tokens, as well as the murderer token. The director wins if players do not figure out the location of the murderer token, but get at least six other tokens correct. Okay, so uh, you're gonna, playing at home, you're gonna play along with me. We're gonna be the watcher, so the Jimmy Stewart character. And uh, so you're going to be able to kind of be kept in the dark as to the true thing so that you can kind of get a sense of how it's played if you want to play along. Um, and Jesse is going to be the director. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start. We picked the 12 possible attributes. So I'm going to shuffle these up randomly so that you guys don't see them. We'll blur out this part of the thing. And I'm shuffling. Am I going to shuffle in a murderer tile? Yes, absolutely. Okay, you want it. Huh? It's, it changes the game in an interesting way, but it, it can make or break the game. Yeah, as you saw, it's a, you know, it, it, it makes an interesting scenario because even if it's not in there, it, the possibility that it could be in there mm -hmm. keeps it a little less tidy. And I think really... The, one of the strengths of this game, and we can talk about this when we review it, is that it would feel like the movie, right? You want to play out the movie. And I think not having, because the movie can go two ways, whether or not, uh, not to spoil the movie, but I mean, either he is seeing a murder, or has seen a murder, or he hasn't, and he's just sort of getting squirrely, and he's imagining this. And so, I think that's actually a really clever way of doing that, because now we have the idea that, Am I crazy? Am I just reading into this too much? Am I a busybody? Or has there actually been a murderer? So I think with that in there, it definitely um, lends itself. Okay, so I've uh, picked out the four mm -hmm. attributes. Those are totally random assigned. I have no control mm -hmm. over this. But now I do get to decide which of the eight people I think fit best in here. And this is a little bit, as you were pointing out before, this is a little bit of the uh, usual suspects possible dangerous yeah, yeah. woke folder area yeah. where you could put sort of stereotypical yeah. people. But it, it's it's one of the additional decision mm -hmm. points in this game. There are so many of them. Mm -hmm. So let me just see. I'm not convinced that it makes a lot of difference though because I actually forgot. We, so we played this one uh -huh. time, one time off camera so I could get a sense of how the game plays. Um, Jesse has played a few times, but I had forgotten that while we were playing, so I wouldn't have thought that was a decision point. And if you don't have any cards to start with, like, how would that make any, you know, wh why would you be inclined one over the other? So, I don't know, I'm not quite sure that that does make a difference. Excuse me. Um, I do like these characters. I actually haven't seen, I'll say this while he's setting up here, um, unless you fast forward through all this, but I, uh... I haven't seen this movie in about 20 years. Uh, as I say, it wasn't my favorite of his for sure. Um, but I do like to do that thing where you kind of have that excuse to watch the movie again, play the game. You know, I feel like, I don't know how much this thing is worth, 25 bucks or something. These generally these Prospero Hall games Quite tend cheap. to be pretty inexpensive. Mm -hmm. So um, playing through it, you have four friends over, you watch the movie, you have the dinner, you play this game once or twice. Surely that's yeah, enough, you know, quick. like it takes a little bit of time to set up out of the box. Yeah, but the actual no. gameplay is quick Okay, so I've got my four attributes my mm -hmm. four people one could be a murderer. You don't know I've got my tokens that let me redraw cards scoring mm -hmm. and we've got day one mm -hmm. open And I'm set up here with I've taken two of mm -hmm. these are out of it, which is the gourmand and Animal lover so those are the two that are out of here of the not advanced ones, ones which we're not, not playing. We're not playing with advanced. Okay, so I've got eight cards, and I have to lay down eight mm -hmm. cards, and I'm going to sort of lay them out here while I plan. Okay, while you're doing that, I will say, 
just to keep some interest going here. Um, it is interesting. Most games you get assigned a character, but Jesse is telling me that in this. Game, oh, I love the way you're saying that. Like you don't, you think I could be wrong. <laughs> Jesse's telling I, me, like I don't you, believe you this. Can, you, can, you can read into that any way that you like. <laughs> But uh, I'm just really right? that I have not read this. It's a good, uh, it is a good way to like you know. You don't so you don't get blamed. If I didn't it's read wrong. the book. I'm, I'm you don't blind. believe me. But it is interesting that you'd have to come to a consensus about, and there's no first player or anything because usually they say like first player breaks ties mm -hmm. or whatever yeah. like that. So this is this, this could grind the entire game to a halt if you're playing with a bunch of people that are either jerks or they are very invested in the game, very excited about it, and do not want to make a mistake. So then maybe that's more more semi. Can I see the list of people again? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, yes. So this is interesting though. I, I tend to not enjoy well, I shouldn't say that. Um, Dixit is very, very popular. I'm not that big a fan of it. I find like, okay, I got it right. Okay, I got it wrong. Doesn't really impact me. I don't feel like I have a lot of choice. Um, Sirium was way overwrought. It got so much. I remember when it came out, it was like only available in Poland and you couldn't get it. People were buying it for like ludicrous amounts to get it over here early. And I was even thinking, I'm like, well, should I? Because it's got all these positive reviews. And then the production of that game was gorgeous. It came out. I, I purchased it and I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, I can't wait. Yeah, it's fine. And then we played uh, on channel here, Mysterium Park, which I'm sure we'll talk about in our review. And I thought it was quite... Um, uh, it knocked all the nonsense out of, all the fiddliness out of Mysterium, but still left me with that kind of like, okay, because like, I'm not super excited about that. All right, well, Jesse, start putting cards out, so let's go ahead and start looking at things here. Well, <laughs> that seems pretty safe. I feel pretty confident about her. Well, I, oh, I should wait until you're completely done, shouldn't I, Jesse? Mm -hmm. That gives you information. Oops. So I'm allowed to put two card mm -hmm. up to two cards face mm -hmm. down. We sort of dis discussed that you should go left to right, top to bottom. That's mm -hmm. what Jesse was saying anyway. See, I did it again. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, I guess you could read into like I feel strongest about these clues, and I don't know. You know, it's I guess that's just a personal preference of how you want to play the game, make it a little bit more difficult, or you know, or whatever. But I think I'm gonna um, do like this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I think... It is, let me just, yeah. from my perspective, my choices here, I can trade in cards if I want. Do, I only can do that three times, as many as I want. Mm -hmm. So I tend to think about leaving that for a little bit later. Mm -hmm. One of the most agonizing parts, however, is that I, I've i got two cards I can put face down saying, don't read anything into these. Mm -hmm. the other times I have to just risk putting out bad information so it's a little scary it's not like every card is going to be useful look at this mm -hmm. it's a little alfred hitchcock making That's his cameo yeah he does like to be yeah, he does. um okay so right off the bat i mean that seems like a pretty pretty solid bet you've put her twice i feel pretty confident about that i think if you were i'd like to in these games I'd like to look at like from the other person's point of view like you know you can read into things sometimes but sometimes you just think like if i had that lady twice in my hand um if i had miss lonely hearts i'd be mm -hmm. putting that in one of the things we should say is that a key part of this game the rules talk about that's mm -hmm. obvious is that the person doing the directing should be listening carefully to the mm -hmm. discussions amongst the other mm -hmm. players so it's important if you play this two player mm -hmm. that the person in Greg's role, the watcher, verbalizes what he's thinking. That's a key, absolutely key that I should be reacting to. In, in a normal so game, you hear. would have a second player to discuss right. these things. It would also be very, not very interesting to, you know, to, to have, you know, mm -hmm. nothing to say. And, and, and also, I think just in a game mechanic way, mechanism way, that like, you're supposed to hear that conversation, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, that's what we're doing for our two-player version here. Okay, so there's not a lot of information here. Generally, I think in the beginning, I tend to think, well, we've only played this once, but that you might try to place the person who it is here. Um, you know, it could be sculptor as well. She's always with the sculptures, though. Um, some of these characters are always going to be with certain things. Uh, as I say, I haven't seen the movie in a while, but Jesse and I were talking off camera about, you know, that she's always going to be with the sculpture and things like that. So let's try that one to start for now. Again, sort of the same logic here. And not having, you know, the first day doesn't seem very compelling to me, but just having that limited information, 
I feel like, you know, like it's probably that that gentleman here, uh, Mr. What is his name? The songwriter. Um, it could also be, I mean, you know, for lack of any other information, uh, I think there is a musician one here. So this could be either art connoisseur as, as that's or, or the virtuoso would probably make more sense. So, but he's also got something broken here. So he could be the klutz, since he's probably always pictured with his piano. Let's go ahead and put the klutz instead. Again, not having much information. Now let's look at this. We've got a globe. Alfred Hitchcock, who's not in here, so we know that's not his proper person. We've got a globe. Um, a desk, sculpture, books, music again. Boy, that's um, not a lot of information here. Uh, so we do have now. This is an interesting. One of the things that makes this game interesting is the fact that we have these characters to call upon, watchers to call upon their powers. Now, I personally, I like the strategy of being able to knock certain things out that you know early on, rather than wait too long, because if you think about it, if you've got one thing locked down, then that's essentially you're making the game exceedingly easier because you have less to worry about. And so I generally like to do. Now this Did you read all those to the people? Because I, oh, I, I, I know they can probably see it, but it, it actually yeah, is useful to yeah, really get it in your head. It. Yeah, the gardener, the klutz, shrey chic, very, very chic, uh, the art connoisseur, the globe trotter, the photographer, the writer, the drunk, the virtuoso, the athlete, the heartbroken, and the thief. And then we have these people here as well as I started to read off the fire escape couple, uh, Mr. Thorwald, etc. In um, the movie, they all have nicknames yeah. like that. Yeah, because they don't know. Bit. He doesn't know who they that's are. Right. He's just looking that's at right. them through that's the right. uh, through the binoculars. So um, this guy, this seems pretty good to me. Now, so. He's choosing red uh, attribute on any previous day and say ask if you're correct or not. So I can't I cannot physically use him now. I could do L. B. Jeffries and say hand me the binoculars, which is to choose a face down card on, on a on the current day, and you can discard and replace that, and then put another card out. That sounds so, like a confusing rule, but I draw these cards now, so I actually have a fresh set of eight. So now the the compelling thing about this is that I could I could use. Uh, this power now and then probably whatever he puts here he's drawing from those eight cards is probably going to be pretty accurate so if he did want me to get him as a person then he could probably put his connecting piece here um, so I kind of like that idea or I could equally do this this is interesting here you may look uh, choose any day you may look at any face down window cards on that day so I could look here or here and decide whether hmm, well it's probably not XYZ because he would have put that there yeah it's a weird one yeah and then here I can use this breaking and entering I can choose to ask him to point at the element that I should be looking at here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, nose for trouble and I'm gonna look this is, seems like a terrible thing but I'm gonna look at a face down window card uh, on that day so I'm gonna use Stella McCaffrey's hour and I'm just gonna look at this one here Okay, so not a lot of information there, unfortunately. That's a bit of a going blind. Now, what I would hope for is to see something like, you know, a piece of photography or right. equipment or something like that, which would help me. Because essentially none of these are really helped by that, I don't think. We have a, a dressing room kind of curtain and uh, some a tea set, none of which really helps me here. So that's unfortunate. I'm going to turn this over, but I'll maybe, well, whatever. We'll just remember that. Okay, um, so thanks for nothing there, <laughs> Stella. Stella! She's like the maid that work, that yeah, helps well, him, the nurse. Yeah, well, the nurse, she's thanks, not a maid, she's a nurse. For nothing. She she's a good us, character in the movie. You know, you, you, she's you not should. helpful here. Mm -hmm. Okay, this really is, is, in, is not helping me here, but I guess what I could do is I feel pretty good about these three characters, right? And so I could just kind of randomly put one hoping that, uh, that I get that. Correct. So let's go ahead and put him down here just for fun. And um, I mean, I could think of it that that's, you know, he kind of has a similar body type. So maybe that's that's something. And then uh, I've got a globe here. I don't know. 
Globetrotter, I guess that's as good as anything. Again, this day is not that compelling. I mean, uh, I don't, I, you know, I'm pretty sure these are tied. She's always probably got the flowers, so it's probably not very useful to put really much of anything. But let's, uh, I think the hardest ones to get, we were talking about this off camera, is the thief. So let's do that, just on the off chance we would get it. You know, that kind of makes sense in my head a little bit. And this one's probably harder to get as well. So let's use those little more obtuse ones. Roll the dice and see if we'll be a little... Uh, uh, actually, hand me the binoculars. <laughs> I think I'm going to do that, actually. So that's the strategy I just outlined. So let's get rid of this before I put that down. So you're, and let's go ahead and have you replace this that with, with one of my new card. cards. Okay. And then we're going to see. Uh, although... Should I have done that? Because I already know what this one is. Doesn't matter. I don't. You think don't we have to. You can undo it. I haven't done anything. No, but yet. we didn't get any information there, so it's regard. It doesn't make any sense. Like I have no idea what you would even get out of that. I wonder if it, one of the ones that we took out of the game would make sense. Yeah, that's kind of weird. A tea set. And let's just read this again. Yeah. And then you draw a card. So you replace right. it. Yeah. Actually, uh, yeah. Whatever. I use one of my brand new cards and then I get draw back up to eight. Okay, so pretty confident that's it's her, but also, I mean, she's a sculptor, so either he's really drilling home that it's her, which doesn't necessarily seem like the best move since I already have her here. It seems like maybe he is trying to tell me that luckily she's come into play as the sculptor. I mean, there is a plant here and a, and, a, and some sporting equipment. So that could be the case, but do we have, I've already forgotten, I guess Art Connoisseur. I guess that's, I mean, that could be the same thing as this artist. There isn't really a, but I know that maybe on the back pocket that it might be gardening or athlete. So let's try that for now. Okay. I think I've locked in, so. All right, so now I'm gonna tell you Not how many ball. tokens are right and in the right in place. The right place. Okay. This is a bit of a mastermind feel where, but mastermind gives you a little more information because you know how many right things and how many are in the right place. Whereas this, we just get the right thing in the right place. The game definitely gets a little more interesting as you get to the next, um, whoa, that's pretty good. That's quite a good start. Mm. So we're going to flip over day two. Mm -hmm. Jesse's got his car, eight cards, right? Mm -hmm. He's going to start again. And uh, you guys and I will take a look. So, I'm a little compelled to think that we have the four people correct. Because these were all pretty much put at random, right? So if we went along with the four people are correct, and maybe somehow we got one of the other correct items. So, we can now ask if something is correct or not. And we can ask, uh, we can also ask if, what, what, what an item is. I'm a little bit tempted to ask if this globe is, or point on this card what it was that he wanted us to get. Or if it's Alfred Hitchcock on this card that was sort of reminiscent of this gentleman's build. So, or uh, whether or not something was correct. So I could ask about this. The other thing that's a little trickier is if it's these three, and somehow I got two of them, but I really doubt so it. So I'm trading in six cards, spending one of my markers. I didn't like six. that. So we've kind of got this meta game, or I guess general strategy thing, of I think it's better to, as I said before, you know, use your stuff early to get a better idea of uh, locked in. I tend to think in this kind of a game, you spend less time running around in circles on clues that meant nothing. So, I am tempted actually to use the uh, Breaking and Entering Lisa Fremont's ability to point at this card, and that could really lock us in into what is good about that, unless he was just trying to really drive home that it was her. But again, I, like I said, I think that might, I already kind of had that locked in, so that might save us a little time. Let's see what he puts out, and then we'll make a decision. But I wanted to discuss the idea that we could use those. And pick up a little downtime while he's thinking. I think this game kind of 
the style of game definitely has an idea of where, like, he, you know, one player is, like, going to do everything that they are supposed to do, and then they kind of wait for the other side to do their own thing. So, it is a bit of a... Um, and I'm trying not um, to leak information by yeah. putting certain cards. Hmm. So, again, I, I do feel like I might use these up this day. In which case, probably uh, figure out which item it is here. I think this was simply to get us to get her. Probably just to get us to get him, and then we're going to work on that maybe next. This is the one that's a little bit interesting, as I say, because that globe and Alfred Hitchcock, very central as the first things I see in that. They could have just been complete wasted cards. Okay. Or murder. Could be murder. Mm -hmm. But we'll see. In which case, we cannot trust Jesse. He's the director. He's causing the murders. Whoa. So we have no information here. Not any at all, but I still feel very strongly about her. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. Whoops. Miss Lonely Hearts so will go up here. Okay, let's take a little look-see. I have to do a little lean-in. Mm -hmm. I was thinking in this game it might... Like, it's fun how each day comes out in turn, mm. but it might be nice to, like, put the day that you're currently working on in front of you. So we've got a pie... We've got some clothes. We've got a, the cop's clothes. But we were pretty sure it's you her. You want to take this in front of you, Greg? There's no reason day okay. two can't sure. be right in front of you. Okay. We could do that. Like whatever. Mm -hmm. So, let's have a little look here. So, there's a plant. We had the plant here. That's a double up. Um, we don't really have, again, more of our artistic things. Um, we've got the nightstick, we've got the pie, we've got the cop's uniform, but we already know, we're pretty sure, it's, what's her name again? Miss Hearing Aid. In the movie, she's got a hearing mm -hmm. aid. So, um, there's a lot of clothes, but I don't think anything here, well, Shrey She could be Shrey She, oh, clothes and clothes, but then why would you have put that, unless you just really wanted to ring home, it was her. Um, again, there's a, there's a, that's a thief type thing, and the cop, okay, cop, plus this briefcase with the thing, let's try, let's go ahead and try for the thief, let's try that, although I don't know why he would have put that, but let's try that, a cop uniform plus that, seems pretty, we're gonna stick with her, there's no reason we would change that. Here we're at a complete loss because we've got no information. Okay, we've got him again. Seems pretty uh, pretty likely that is one of the correct ones. And we've got this, well, it's a dinner. It's a dinner for three. It looks like they're playing cards. But there's also this couple here. So it might have been a dead card that he couldn't do much with. But the couple and the dinner kind of makes me think... We might try for heartbroken. Over here, we've got this gentleman again. So that does seem to be pretty good. Let's go ahead. That's a pretty good piece of communicative information here. And then we've got the globe and this. So let's, real fast. If we were to say one, two, three, four, five, this bag, because I'm thinking heartbroken is here, which is the other element here. There's a girl and there's this. I could choose to put... Globetrotter here, thinking that was the fifth correct answer in the last one. Which would leave us here with a complete blank. Um, so, the other one I was thinking was because of clothes, Shrey Chic. So, I would think clothes and clothes, that's the only other one I would think of. But there's no other real matching things here. Although there is a plant and a plant. And this is reading into it quite a bit there, but there's fruit in that pie, which would lead me to... Um, I think what I'm going to do, as I like, as I say, I like to use these early. I'm going to use Lisa Fremont's Breaking and Entering. And I think I'm going to ask what you want me to concentrate on. So now here's the, it's going to be one of these two. 
So if I were to leave it here, he could point at the clothes. But that would still make me think, is it the cop or is it the... Um, or is it the clothes, like, it's very chic. Uh, but if I put it here, he can point at... There's a lot more elements, I think. And, and I like this plant and the locks and stuff and the, and the clothes and the plant was in here. So I think I'm going to pick this... Uh, this one here, and I'm going to use the breaking and entering. So that show I show you which you point object, out which, uh, which object. area. So I'll read the ability uh -huh. out loud. Choose a window card on any day. The director places the pointer token on that card, pointing to what they think is the most important feature. The plant. It looks like the plant. So we're going to go ahead and swap this thief one out then, and put the gardener. That makes me think, so that was not right, which means that the Globetrotter is probably, was probably the fifth one that was correct, and this is going to be a complete crapshoot. So let's use the one that we think is the most difficult one to get, which is the Thief, I believe. Yes, let's try that, just as a complete guess. So, Jesse, okay. would you pick up the, the day three, mm -hmm. please? And let's move this back to where we are going here. You know, it's actually, I am i don't know if they designed it this way, but it's pretty clever that it folds this way, not this way, because that's what lets you pick it up without it collapsing. Oh, yes, yes. Well, I think Sparrow Hall, well, you you, you, you do your cards here, and uh -huh. I'll talk. Oh, you have to Yeah, I have to give me. you your score here. My grade. Watch, it's like three. <laughs> I don't think it could possibly. Six. Okay, so we've increased in one. So while Jesse gets the next mm -hmm. set of cards correct, let's take a look and see what we think happened here. Okay, so we've increased, which means just mathematically, I'm pretty sure, like, you know, those three people have got to be correct. So let's go ahead and make that assumption that those three are correct. That means one of these other four was correct. Four places was, or excuse me, I think the four people are correct. Really pretty strong about that. Now, if that was correct in the first one, as it is in the second one, and then we got to know that one of these was correct last time, and we've increased one this time. Now, the gardener seems pretty obvious, so I think that can be the that that can be the sixth right answer, which leaves us to whatever was the fifth right answer this time, which looks pretty good for the globe trotter, unless I happen to get something completely correct. So, and I'm listening to him mm -hmm. as like this is absolutely key. Mm -hmm. Wish I was listening a little harder. <laughs> so I actually, so. So which let, let's let's hear you. Which ones do you think you know? So and which I'm pretty ones you sure don't? I'm pretty sure we got the. I think we've got the people all right. I, I really feel strongly here, here, here twice, and the fact that I thought he linked up here, and now we've got him here. So I really feel like the four people are correct. And that's kind of a meta strategy, maybe, is to try to lock the people down first and then work on the more difficult um, other elements. So because I. I, you know, this was this one we know was wrong, which means it had to be one of these three. And these were really picked quite at random. So I feel like the globe, and now we have the bag, and we have an increased one. I really feel pretty strongly about the globe trotter. In fact, I think these are the only two things that we're going to be trying to guess in this day. Now, I could um, lose Lieutenant Detective Lieutenant Tom Doyle. Uh, to see if the globe trotter is the correct thing, which seems like a really good move because then I can say like, yes, I know that's the correct one. I know that's what I was trying to get, and so now uh, I can know that these two were incorrect, and I can start working on um, on that. Although it could have been the heartbroken one could be the correct thing. No, I think mathematically because if the globe trotter had to be correct there, so I think the the heartbroken is not correct. But we'll see. Well, I think that's what I'll do next is I'll ask a question about the Globetrotter. I'll do some investigating with Lieutenant Tom Doyle. I'm so, trading in four cards. That's interesting. That's good. I think, like, really, I mean, the sooner you, it is interesting, the sooner you knock out the more obvious ones, then you can use all of your time and energy, all of your cards, to try to get the best outcome for the places that you have a problem. So if Jesse said, okay, well, Greg's really on the right track here. Now I just need to work on, you know, whatever the the, the last two things are. And then you could dig for the exact cards that you wanted or the, the best cards for that. 
Now I could, yeah, I think I think that reasoning is all pretty sound. Maybe you're at home thinking to yourself, you dummy. <laughs> it's so obvious that it's not that, but we'll see. We shall see. We, uh, while Jesse's doing that, yeah, we just did a little, uh, <laughs> we were really going full, full, full bore ahead. We, um, just, I had a little channel, uh, that I do top tens of movies and I do some movie reviews and stuff like that just for fun. And, um, Jesse and I just did our top 10 favorite, uh, top 10 relationship movies and top 10 romance slash love movies, which is sort of a little combo, a little, uh, two-parter, you know, which you can listen to separately or together. But, um, yeah, seemed to be pretty good. Okay. Right on time, Jesse, I'm out of material. You want me to put this over here? What are you doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So we've got some broken hearts here. Or Broken Roses, which leads me to think of Broken Hearts. There's a key, like the returning of the key, a sad person. That seems to be pretty good. Now we've got this gentleman over here, but I think we're pretty locked into um, to him on that side. So we are looking at briefcase, stolen briefcase, stolen money. And that one I think we will try the thief for maybe. And over here... Oh, we've got our plant again, probably. And another face down card. Okay. This one... Oh, we already know what this is. So this, I probably can just ignore this. I think I'm going to lock this in. And this might be an area where Jesse is just dumping his useless cards. That's what we're going to go with for now. I feel very strongly, the most strong about this, this person here. This combo here. Um, oh, I was going to use Doyle. So let's go ahead and use uh, Doyle. Choose an attribute tile or resident token on any previous day, which is interesting because it makes it so that like you can you you would force the person to redo it, which is a weird doesn't work. That's why. Okay. Uh, director places an investigate token to show if the chosen tile is or token is correct. So I want to ask: Is the globe shotter in this uh, apartment D? Is that correct, Jesse? Direct, Mr. Director. Okay, so that seems pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and lock this in, which means we can forget about whatever he's placed there. Okay, so I feel very confident about this side. Um, and again, the, the, these two professions are the part that we're having a, a little bit more difficulty with. So here, I really do believe, we, we do believe we've not locked him in Department B. And now I'm seeing these stolen items. Um, we also have the Virtuoso, which it could be, but there's a broken piggy bank. There's a stolen thing here and stolen money. So let's, let's go ahead and try the Thief. And then here, the strongest thing that, let's go through them here, but like nothing else here really says sadness or whatever other than the heartbroken. So let's go ahead and uh, I think I feel pretty confident to lock that in. What do we got here, Jesse? Ooh, we stayed the same. Wow, I was pretty confident you were going to be like, ta-da, <laughs> day three, you're done. Wow. Wow, wow. Okay, so let's, Jesse, why don't you go ahead and... Uh, and you want to swap those positions so you can get that one in front of you? No, I think I'm okay, just because I think it'd be a little too confusing, if that's okay with you. Okay. Well, actually, okay, okay. I a little cat here I brought from home, mm -hmm. taking off the board here. Wow, so that's very interesting. While you do that, let's have a little discussion. Um, so, okay. So really loving this and loving this. I really feel locked in here, right? There's two things wrong in this, in this assortment, right? And now there's still two things wrong here. <clears throat> or they're maybe a little more complicated. Maybe I had something right here and then I now have some, I've reversed something or something of that nature. I feel very strongly about I really feel locked in here, which is dangerous. Now I am, that's the one flaw of this strategy is that now I'm at my total, um, I'm on my own complete. I have no, no, no more, uh, what do they call that? And, um, lifelines. That's it. Lifeline. Yeah. No more lifelines. Um, I mean, he's pointed to this flower. I'm for taking us. seven cards. Okay. He's pointed to the flower and, and, Just and he's put up. her twice. This has got to be. We absolutely know that this is correct. 
and he's given us a little bit of this here, uh, this person here. So I really feel strongly about him. I did think that these were my two errors on this page. And if we bring that over to here, it's interesting, I actually did the same two things and I just swapped them. So if everything was correct, and these, if I'm running under the assumption that these two were the things that I had wrong, what else would this be? All right, let's look through. The gardener I've already used. Let's take these two out. I'm gonna flip these two upside down just so it's a little easier for me to see to see that. Okay, what have we got here? This really was just getting, getting us to get her. This we got zero information. So really the only information we have about her, um, what do you call this part of the unit? Attribute, I don't know what the attribute. official name yes, is. I think that is the right thing. Um, attribute tile or resident tile. So this is the only card we've gotten that signals her attribute. So that's kind of hard. I should listen to you before I do these. So I'm not, I mean, this really screams heartbroken to me. So let's think of this again. Now this I really felt, the only other thing here we have art. So the thief, it's not the thief. We're working on that theory that it's not the thief. Heartbroken, athlete, virtuoso, photographer. Could be to photographer, there's two other well, paintings or pictures, I guess they could be photographs. Uh, writer drunk art connoisseur could be that as well so i like maybe these two for this stuff here i've put my new day out if you want to consider oh, those as you are can. you good mm -hmm. okay so let's see here oh boy there is another thing though we could have a murderer. We could have a murderer. So let me explain the rules of murderer while you think. And I think it might be helpful when you, if you've got like one day or one apartment, you might want to take those cards into hand to really mm -hmm. look at them. So the rule for the murderer, just briefly to recap it, is it's a, if there's no murderer token, and there's only four out of 12 chance that you'll get a murderer or so, if there's no murderer token, it's completely cooperative. For us to win as a group, we, Greg has to get all eight. If there is a murderer token, it becomes semi-cooperative. For me to win, Greg must get at least six or seven, right? I forget exactly what the rule is, but you mu he must not guess the correct location where there's a murderer. And for Greg to win, he must correctly get that murderer token the person the and room. also get six or seven of the rest of them, right? Okay. So this... And that today, day four is the only time you could guess murderer. Yeah. So... We know that this is the only one we know for absolutely sure is this. And I really felt strongly that this was my correct answer going up to then. So I really feel good about this, especially since this is not a globe trot. I think he's really was trying to get me to get him. So this side of the board, I'm going to go assuming. And again, we have purple here and that could be a tie in there. I wonder if this was a mistake to have asked about this. The reasoning I did was so I knew about the other two. But this is also globe trotting, so that probably really would have like led that to me. Okay, but it doesn't matter because it's too late. Now, we had him twice, but it could have been because he was trying to get me to get the virtue, so I now realize. But if that was correct, then this would have had to have been correct, or this would have been had to have been correct. And this was a complete shot in the dark because I had no information. In which case I would have to say that. It's definitely him. I just wanted to make sure. Uh, I mean, I know I have this picture of him, but now it's not the gardener. This is food, dinner. I'm a little bit inclined. I'm not going to put dial this in yet, but I'm a little bit inclined to say this because there's the blood, but then he would want to throw me off the scent. So let's think about that for a second. This lady has gotten zero. I've gotten nothing. I've gotten this, which absolutely says broken heart. So maybe that's the murder up here. All right, let's think for a moment. What else could this be? Pick all, you can take the cards in hand if it's helpful to you. Is there going to be some magic? <laughs> no, no, like it's, no. like, you rub it, oh, yeah. you rub it, and you yeah, think like it's like, uh, oh, I don't know. Take the cards in a hand. Take the cards. Like, no, like, I'm just saying, like, sometimes yeah. when it's far away, you Yeah, no, I can see pretty well. Okay, so 
it really felt like we had the art connoisseur or the photographer in these because I really felt like the thief was a strong, was a really strong contender. Now we have the police officer, which really makes me lean towards the thief. But again, it was the same number. So something would have had to have changed that would have been. Unless she was like somehow correct. And he would, no, I really... This is kind of the thing about these games. If you really lock in with some things and in your brain, you've already locked it in. There's like no going back from this. But Perseveration. That's what it's called when you lock onto something and you can't whoop. kick your mind off it. You perseverate. So, but I mean, looking at this, we've got him here. We've got him here. It would be a pretty big error, I think, in judgment to have put this guy twice and not want me to get him. The first two days, forget it. And the fact that you have a picture of her and her, Absolutely. You've done the same thing here with her. I feel like the people are locked in. I'm not changing the people. That's insanity. Okay, so if that's the case, we have the four people, as I said here, and we knew this was correct, one of these other pieces of information is correct. It has to be the gardener because of that. Fine. So this cannot be the thief, right? And it's the same amount of correct information, which means that these two are incorrect and these two are incorrect. So, the, so we know it cannot be the gardener it cannot be heartbroken. It cannot be the thief. And it cannot be the globetrotter, but that's been out one, two, three, four times. So that's not even available to us. Okay, so it's gotta be, oh, and it can't be Trey Chic either. And he can't be the klutz. He could be Trey Chic, but I don't think that, it's less likely that it's these two. All right, so let's just flip them over and let's take a look now. This could be the photographer or the art connoisseur. We've got this and a painting and a painting, maybe. Or we've got, and she's, that's, that's the nutty part. Like this, what more can, I, can it be than, than the heartbroken? And he, he did double, like if you were trying to fool me, and to think and to not being able to get it because you wanted me to mess that up. That's a pretty good strategy, giving me zero information, giving really locking the person in, but then giving me zero information. I'm really tempted theory. to do, I'm really tempted to go here. Audience can tell me if I'm crazy, but this is the only other one I see here. Really, this really makes me think a thief. And the only way Jesse can win, correct, is if you, is if. All of this is correct. If this if this were the way, this would have to be something other than the murder, right? Yeah, let's see. If if there's no murderer, we're both going to lose. If there is a murderer, for me to win, you have to get six or seven of the other spots and not the murderer. So you're allowed to get... If you got one wrong and the murderer wrong, I'd still win. And you would win hmm. if you got seven or eight spots, including the murderer. You must get the murderer and... There is art in both of these. There's art in both of these. I think that's the best. I really did see like multiple thieving things here, which really made me think of that. And now the cop does bolster the idea of the thief too, but that's irrelevant because I don't think that's correct. So I think the art is the best way to go rather than photography. There's also some of these, there's a lot of strong art imagery in here, 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 etc. So I really like that. This lady has given me nothing. The only one you that- You sure you don't want to hold her cards and look at them more closely? I want a little sign in this game. <laughs> no, I do not want to hold the cards and look at them more okay. closely. I know that's your way of telling me that I've missed something. Like, you better be sure when you accuse someone of murder, you better stare at those cards hard and make sure you don't... I'm just saying, as a general rule, that's not mm. a tip about the specific game. But I think in this game, because it's so unlikely, you better be sure. I'm not, not trying to throw you off. Take it there's in. nothing... I mean, there's a million... These are so, like... What is this? Klutzy, like... Because of this fall down this attic thing, there's messy, there's a desk, could be a writer, there's a, this could be a writer, I guess, oh, that is a, I see, that's a, a typewriter, alright, if you throw me off the fact that you're a murderer, Jesse, they might be a real murder on camera. It's interesting. I mean, all of these Dixit games have this category where it's easy to miss We just talked about that, the, uh, the, the, like, the dealer. Show mm -hmm. your hands are empty. That's like a magician thing too. Like nothing in my hands. You have no more show, special abilities. Show me the murderer. Me. <laughs> show me the murderer. Okay. Bang. 
so at Thanksgiving dinner, I like had like the um, the little thing for the the I brought up the family feud noises and we were just <laughs> on a little soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> you played a game. Okay, you ready for yep. the score? Is it really? Okay, so what was your think? So now that's kind of interesting. Now the audience can see as well. Look at that. We won on both games. We've played two games. They were both won on the fourth turn. You started out. We started we did playing. We did uh, cheat. Because of that little thing? Yeah, you were like, uh, I think wait, wait, uh, well, we closely. can talk about that. Yeah. Greg is a more stickler rule. Okay. Played the first game off camera. Mm -hmm. You played, You did the first day, second day. You're like, we're probably not going to review this because mm -hmm. we probably don't like this at two. And in yeah. the back of my mind, I'm thinking, I love this game. Now, the second, the first game, we at, by the time we got to the end and it was a cliffhanger, yeah, you're like, I'm warming up to this. Yeah. And now you've played it twice. I think it's that deductive element of the fact that you can look back to the previous I mean, we're going to have to we'll review it. So we won't talk about our final mm -hmm. thoughts. But, I mean, it's a, it was a cliffhanger. Yeah. Right, it was a very tricky thing. I... I did want you to look at those cards because it's yeah, very now I easy. Do see. Right, right, but you right. picked it up. I mean, well, I picked it up because you you said really look at those cards. Well, I, yeah, you did it. But however, though. you said if you threw me off, like it, the the fact that there was murder. If it was a purely cooperative, mm -hmm. that would have been a hard cheat. That would have been like me nudging you to sure, fix yeah, your answer. Right. But because you were also concerned that I was trying to trick you it's in the other shape. direction. It's a short, but you soft. thought I might be trying to trick That's you true. away from murderer. That's true. Well, I mean, you're any of these games, you're not allowed to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you talked. Well, I, and it happened I to be very helpful. I've been there huh. a little bit. Interesting, I've interesting. Been, been, now I'm not I just did some investigative uh powers, and my investigative powers say that like mm -hmm. You weren't supposed well, to talk, and you did you talk, and when you did talk, game, it helped me to get the correct answer. If I were, uh, game, you know, it's a... Well, I, th I thought it would be inappropriate for our friendship just getting back on his training wheels <laughs> for you to accuse me of murder and be wrong on camera. It I didn't accuse like you of murder. Better. I was accused... I mean, uh -huh. you didn't do the murder. You're that just showing the That was tricky, though, but I, I mean, the fact that you're using all yeah. this reasoning to figure so it out... So you put this here because of the art. It was all art. Like I, th it, there's. It's funny how certain things mm -hmm. seem obvious for what. Yeah. Like this one, I was like, look, framed art in the center of the camp, set, framed art center, framed art center. Look at these. Look at these three, Greg. And you're like looking at it and saying, ah, it looks like robbery. <laughs> I'm like, look, Greg. <laughs> well, but but again, like you could have been easily telling me, it's look, true. broken piggy bank, yeah, stolen briefcase, yeah, yeah, yeah. stolen money, police officer. Uh huh. It's true. It's true. But you you got. I did. At the end, I like, there were a couple points here that I really also, liked. Your because reasoning. of this is art. This is you know this is is this a painting or is this a picture? That's so the photography. Uh, photography, thing, yeah, that's true. There were a couple of things I liked. Um, it was like it's always dangerous to be like I'm locked. This is locked. I'm not going to worry about that. it. But it's very dangerous. But when you did that, a couple of things happened. You're like, which I really liked. You were like, okay. This is locked, so I'm not even going to worry about locked. that. Yeah. And you even verbalized. You said, Jesse can dump cards here. Yeah. That was very useful for yeah. me because I got start to get into a situation where I had some bad cards. And I was like, I'm going to have to put them here. Where are the places Greg has locked in that yeah. are safe to dump? And that was helpful. You What's that? Probably was it... this was, as you said, a like mistake. that was a, wa a little bit of a waste. But I do think in my reasoning Although at the time was that early. like I, wa I wanted to make sure that I could yeah. just forget about that side and figure out whether these two. This was very useful to know. this. Mm -hmm. I liked your reasoning here too. You were like, I could ask that about actually, this that card. That actually saved us the game. Or I could ask us about this because card. This I was thinking, well, heartbroken, mm -hmm. and then that led because this was the hardest one to get for yeah, me, yeah. and so like because I had that locked in, I figured that these were the five absolutely correct or mm -hmm. two, four, yeah. six correct ones. Right. But this thinking you did, which was nice, because I was like, I hope he doesn't pick this card for me to point to, because I really didn't have great things for this card. I actually dumped in this card. I thought, well, yeah. it's not going to give him too much of a mm -hmm. wrong idea. But then you talked yourself into this being fruit. You yeah. When you that was that was also another one of these things where if you yeah. had because you said that, if you had made me point here, I would have said yeah. I would have confirmed it. But yeah. if you hadn't, I wouldn't know what to do. But that's why listening to your thinking. Now the writer was the hardest one because I got no cards from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Like I had no cards for writer. 
and I didn't know how to do that. So that's this why I saved that I my last. Was a weird, where you were less like doubling down, like it's definitely her, and I'm like, well, if I had had a good art connoisseur card, I might have given it to her. But I thought, well, in lieu of a card, good, I mean. uh, this did have a right in lieu of a in lieu of a good card. Let me just really lock mm -hmm. that in. Yeah. And I had a hard time with writing. I had to like at the end. I was like, tr all in, all yeah. cards for her. That's all I was well, doing. That's what trying to grab the cards of for using her. all your powers and all your stuff to get. Then you could just dump as many cards to find the exact card that she wanted. But even still, it's a little bit of yeah. It is interesting because I, I was I was like, this is just like all those other games as we went, and then I started getting more merges in our first game. And this game I thought was pretty interesting as well. The murderer one is a weird thing. Maybe we'll talk about it in on, in our review, yeah. but. Um, I had a blast. This is a fun card. You are really good at that part because you can I think verbalize your, I think I would, all this stuff. I think your part would be less interesting. Well, uh, also, you don't get to talk in this role. That's going to be a problem for you. <laughs> and you don't well, like I'm the really downtime. I'm going to the lines here. Maybe I, do I talk too much? I like no, I think that's perfect yeah. for this. But uh, as two player, like you got it, they got a view, they got a picture of how this would play yeah, as a I two think player. Like, if you wanted to play this with your spouse or significant other or, or you know like i think that's pretty good i don't know why they listed three up on this game that's stupid. because i think of the communication i think most people you know this is a f absolutely we're fine both, we're both game. gamers you'll have to watch our review to see how we really like it but like you don't know two player that. is fine yeah all right well, we'll sign a number rating to this though that's our... i haven't done that in a long time yeah, yeah. Interesting. all right well we'll see you in the review then Here we then go. We'll ready? Come, but then you'll come back. Then we'll come back and we'll talk about talk it. Talk a little. I'll say welcome. And then we'll go down to the table you. and see how it's played. No, we'll just start playing. There's no. That's too much work. <laughs> I'm in the no work zone now. But you're gonna have to do that for the review part. Am I?